Good afternoon, everybody, um, or whatever time it is in your part of the world. This is a review on the Fire Dancing First Player Keyboard. This keyboard is available on Amazon for ranging anywhere from $25 to $30. I will be including a link in the description. This keyboard is a great buy, especially for what a keyboard is meant to do, which is has fantastic actuation on the keys, even though it's a membrane keyboard, not mechanical. And it um, has a lot of features that uh, I would find in more expensive keyboards. Um, this is not going to be a great demo, but you can kind of tell where the actuation of the key is. So there's a lot of feel of when the key is actually pressed. Uh, it kind of helps uh, limit misclicks. I'm assuming if you're going for a keyboard like this, you're most likely going to be doing some gaming. And there's a lot of gaming centered features for this keyboard. Uh, the Windows key does in fact have a lock so you can lock the windows key and make sure it's not you can't press it mid game uh worst thing you want to do is accidentally go home to your home screen um mid uh mid match so you can lock it uh the keys have great actuation and there's uh various colors available with the leds which is awesome helps you match the rest of your setup now there's no effects on this keyboard there's no breathing, there's no anything else, but that's fine with me. For the price, I'm happy with what I'm getting. Uh, number two would be that there, the function keys above actually do provide a useful like volume controls, play, pause, and then some uh, miscellaneous uh, calculator, home, uh, mail, which I actually like a lot. Uh, one issue with that is that even though they're the function keys and they're preset, you do still have to press function or FN and the key itself to have those work. Personally, I would have preferred if those were standard and uh, I don't use F10 as much as I use um, or F12 as much as I would use a calculator or pause and play, but it's a small price to play, pay for the price. Second uh, issue is that I don't know if you've noticed yet, but the keys themselves do not light up. What lights up is the area in between the keys and the lining itself. Now, that has not been the biggest issue, even when playing in complete darkness. Um, I find that those, the keys or the lighting itself provides enough light to actually see the keys in combination with my monitor. But in reality, um, when I bought this keyboard, I thought it was going to be backlit and it was kind of disappointing, but it's something I've been able to get over. Now, um, if you have any questions about the keyboard, I'll give you a quick sound test just so you can hear the keyboard. So as you can tell, not very loud, something I like a lot. One last negative is the delete key. If you can tell, the delete key is tiny. I don't know what key they added or how this happened. That is kind of a big deal. Um, all in all, if the keyboard was backlit and that delete key was full size and the function keys were standard to the abilities they demonstrate, this would be a 10 out of 10. I would say don't spend your money on a $150 keyboard. This $30 keyboard it really is getting the job done. But because of those small issues or gripes, I will give this a 8 out of 10. It's something I'll still definitely recommend. It's still very, very good keyboard. It's still a very good keyboard. But if you have any questions, please post something in the comments. If you have uh, any suggestions of another keyboard that you feel is better, uh, let us know in the comments. Thank you.